Okay guys, so here's what you're gonna need for this style. A styling brush, kinky hair, rubber bands, gold crimp beads, styling gel, hair pins, some gold rope for that funkiness of course, a tail comb, a wide tooth comb, water for that moisture, Irene's secret which I will tell you more about, and leave-in conditioner, and your hair clips of course. Alright guys, so my hair is thick, it's dense, uh, it's curly, thank God, but um, I gotta spray this moisture in. So I'm spraying some water in because I don't want my hair to be totally dry when I comb it out and I'm also gonna, you know, put the blow dryer in a little bit too. So here we go with me stretching it, you know, stretching it out, pulling it out, um, you know, just so that it'll have just a little bit, it, it won't be so shrunken, you know, that shrinkage is real, okay? So now I'm just spraying in, you know, my leave-in conditioner, you know, just kind of putting a little um, moisture in there. Right here, I'm just doing my part now, my first part, so you can look along and see how I part it. Um, and all the other parts are going to be pretty much the same. I'm going to do five sections. Alright, so I have my first section and you can see it's parted kind of like a U and I pretty much used kind of like my eyebrow to kind of start where I start those parts in a sense, where my eyebrow ends in a, in a sense. But um, just combing it out now, please remember that when you're combing out your hair to hold the ends of it, you don't want to, you know, be pulling out your hair from the roots. So remember to hold the ends of that hair and as you can see my hands are shaking a little bit because guys i told you my hair is thick it's dense it's curly and i i'm grateful for it it's come it's come a long way i've cut my hair so many times but my hair has always been pretty strong so guys this is it and as you can see that shrinkage was real because you know i got a little bit of length there so i'm just gonna work on this section right here and I'm gonna put a little bit of styling gel I don't like to put a whole lot of gel you know in my hair because I realized that it does not do the best thing for my scalp so here we go All right, so I'm just brushing in a little bit of, I also put a little bit of like edge control. Um, my hair always says, I will not be held down by anything in this life. Yes, it talks. And um, it doesn't wanna be held down by gel, by edge control. <laughs> it wants to be free. So, <laughs> um, you know, I just put enough to just kind of get those, you know, that frizz that, you know, kind of laid look a little bit. But I wasn't trying to just to make everything just look really slick. And um, I just wanted it to look natural. And I just wanted all the strands to come together neatly, pretty much. That's all. So um, I'm just braiding the end here because I want to just put a rubber band around that. And put my puff around it so I'm just gonna put a little rubber band and just wrap this braid around itself so I have kind of a you know something for the kind of like when you're doing a ponytail just like when you're doing a ponytail 
you know you need to be able to attach the ponytail to something and wrap it around so here we go looking good so far i think so mm -hmm. so here i'm just parting um these two sections because what happened was <laughs> due to how i had my hair cut you know some months ago the side did not grow into the the length of the top yet so it doesn't go you know all the way up into the top ponytail so i had to reroute myself and figure out something else to do with this design so i'm gonna part these two sections and figure out what to do which i'll probably braid it or something like that um, and I know I'm looking like one of the little rascals right now, but it's okay. It's going to come together. It's going to come together, guys. And here it is. I have these two sections parted off right here to braid. But guys, look at these five sections for this puff. And I think I did rather well with the parts. I'm going to say so myself. So here it is, guys. I'm going to, you know, work on these puffs and get back to these sections and now I'm just taking out my kinky hair and I'm about to show you guys what to do with this now this kinky hair is also um, in sections so that's how it looks out of the pack um, and it's you know in sections so I'm just pulling it apart carefully as you can see there's a rubber band around each section and as I pull aside those sections, I'm going to show you how it goes. But I want to part this into four sections because um, I'm going to be putting four braids or maybe twists there. Um, yeah, I'm going to put four twists. So I'm just parting this. And as you can see, I tried to take my time parting because I do like my parts to be very neat. And if you're wondering how I'm seeing all of the angles of my hair, I am using a three-part mirror. I'll try to put the link, but it, it was not from Amazon, but I'm sure they do sell them on Amazon. Um, so I'll try to find one to post a link for you. It might not be the same brand, but it hangs on to your regular mirror. And what happens is it, um, it has three mirrors, like when you unfold it so you can see the sides of your hair the back of your hair it just guys it just makes life so much easier but back to these twists though um i am going to twist this bottom section first uh so i'm gonna grab some hair um and i'm gonna show you how i install you know the first twist um and like i said the pack comes with you know in separate sh separate strands i'm going to be using one strand of hair maybe i shouldn't say one strand but one section of hair that's already rubber band for one of these twists so i'm not doubling up on the twist so as you can see i'm just going to take off the rubber band off of this section and I'm using this one section for this twist. What I'm gonna do is just stretch it out a little bit and I'm gonna fold it in half. Okay, so stretching it and folding it in half. And then I'm splitting this part that I, that I sectioned off, I'm splitting that part into two because I want to, I want the two sides to be even when I put this hair in the middle. So for this extension, I want to make sure both sides, you know, of each strand are even. So I'm going to put that in between the two strands of my hair I separated and one side I'm going to twist towards my head and guys listen forgive me for the crazy expressions all right I have some crazy facial expressions when I'm doing my hair 
I'm in my own world. Sometimes I forget I'm recording. So <laughs> the other section, I twist counterclockwise. And then I just go ahead twisting as regular as if I was twisting my own hair. Now it might look like it's super tight because you might see my hair pulling a little bit, but it is not very tight. Usually if someone else is doing my hair, I would hold that section, but of course, you know, the hair is thinner in that section and also your skin is thinner in that section. So, you know, if you're doing it yourself, it's gonna pull a little bit, but it is, it is not tight. So here's the first twist and I like it because it has a natural look. I'm not really looking for that perfected singly twist look but i'm looking for more of like this kind of kinky here look so yeah not bad not bad and it's not tight so you can see here's the second one and this is the last one i'm just trying to show you a little bit more closely how I um, twist. So I'm just twisting one side towards the outside and the other side I'm gonna twist in towards myself and then I'm just gonna twist them both together. So it's, it's like twist, twist. To the twist, mm, 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 mm. to the twist. All right. And then you just keep twisting it all the way down, all the way down. Guys, my clip broke. Oh well. <laughs> guys have extra clips handy okay as you can see my hair did not like that one so definitely use thicker clips but as you can see i have the other side finished this is the last one on this side and i'm just doing the same thing as you can see i'm getting some really good arm exercise and stretching to uh, get these parts of my hair and I'm sure if you do your own hair listen there's some angles that you're gonna have to move those arms to achieve the look okay but let's get these twists in guys I might look like I'm in pain but I promise you I'm not <laughs> Here we go, so they are finished. These twists are finished. Not bad if I say so myself. So I don't know what I'm gonna do with them yet. Maybe I will put it up, I am not sure. Mm. What do you guys think I should do? <laughs> Listen guys, also, if you are liking this tutorial so far, remember to like, okay? Like, press that like button, hit that subscribe button, and most of all that notification bell so you know when I am going to upload, uh, when more videos are uploaded, okay? So I put into five sections, as you can see, and now I'm gonna use two strands of hair to each puff, right? Yes. If you do five puffs and you use three strands of hair for each, you're going to be missing one or two strands of hair, which is gonna require you to buy one more pack for another puff so but you know 
uh when you're doing the puff remember i used one sh one section of hair for the twist but for each of these puffs i'm going to be using two sections of hair for each puff and uh what i did is you know i just take one of the rubber bands and put the two sections in between the rubber band and then i just fold it in half and pull out the hair you know you want to pull out the hair and make sure that you get it like this as puffy as possible because you want that puff okay when you fold it over you don't want like a tiny little puff you want like that puff you want it to have like that you know that funky look so i don't want it to be over dramatic but i want it to be like just you know just the right amount of funk okay so just pull out that hair you don't have to overdo it but you know you don't want it perfectly kinky you want that that afro kind of puff so there we go so now i'm just going to add it to the top here as you can see i put the rubber band over and then i twist the rubber band put it over again and then just twist it one more time put it over twist it another time put it over and there we have it my puff is secured mm -hmm. not bad not bad not bad at all right yep leave it like that nah mm -mm. <laughs> so just pulling it out a little bit more and um i'm gonna show you how i flip it so after you figure out how much you want it to be you know how much how much puff you want then you kind of just uh, are gonna put your finger in between and then you know fold it over so I'm just kind of looking and seeing how I want it to to fold over you know the top and here it is one puff one puff one puff down four to go okay Taking another two strands and I'm going to do the second puff right behind that. And right now it's looking a little, you know, undone, but trust me, it's going to come together, guys. It's going to come together. I pull it through the rubber band and put, make sure it's in half. And I'm going to do the same thing as the front. Pull it, pull it, pull it, pull it out make that afro puff make that afro puff okay i want this to be puff e all right so just stretch it out as much as you can because remember you want it to flip over right so you can't just don't just use it the way it comes out the pack you gotta use it to that you know that full length okay you know get the most for your book i only used one pack of this kinky hair only one I think the only thing I had left over maybe was one strand of hair, <laughs> one section of hair maybe, but yeah, so there it is. Just pull that out, pull that out. And this hair is very strong still, so I think this is really good. I think the one pack uh, was $6.99 maybe, yeah, I think like six, like $6.99 so now i'm just gonna install this second puff uh, right behind same thing i did before put the rubber band over my little braid knot that i made pull it over a couple of times and install my puff there we go oh new style I'll leave it just like that Mm-hmm. no <laughs> so here I'm just you see all that length the hair has I'm just stretching it out even more just stretching it you know making sure that it has that ultimate puff that I want and guys I'm gonna do the same thing that I did in the front and I'm gonna show you how they came out all right 
so as you can see i finished all of them all right and i made a twisted braid and i'm gonna make a little crown you see that crown mm-hmm now tell me that don't look funky guys listen 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 look at that look at those puffs okay I'm saying, listen, drop a comment, guys. Drop a comment if you are liking this style right now, okay? Look at that crown. What I did is I, I made a twist and I wrapped some of that gold rope around that twist. I put two rubber bands at the end of each twist and then I wrapped it around the front puff. Hmm. Look at that. And then this is where the gold crimp beads came in you know came in handy because i wanted to put them on the twist so here it is now my intention was to leave them hanging down however i am not feeling that so i'm just thinking about what else to do now because i don't want to leave them like that you could but i'm kind of in between decisions so hey all right guys, this is what I decided. So here is the final look, okay? Instead of leaving them down, I decided to wrap those twists up into certain sections of the puffs. I left the gold uh, crimp beads on, but guys, do you like it? Listen, I was feeling oh so, oh so eccentric today. If any of you know me, you know that <laughs> my business is called Eccentric Accessory. So, hey, hey guys, I am just loving this style. Oh, so funky. Listen, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button. See you later.